Well, his name is Lawrence Levy, but to his 54,792 Twitter followers or something like that, he's known as Marlins Man. And you've probably seen him if you follow sporting events at the World Series, the Super Bowl, uh, NCAA championships. You seem to be everywhere when it comes to sports and even horse racing. Yes, and actually my favorite of all is horse racing, and I have put money where my mouth is. I actually own over 100 horses, including moms and babies, which are called brood mares and weanlings. And to me, this is the most exciting weekend of the year. I can't wait for this weekend. Yeah, last year when American Pharaoh crossed the finish line here at Pimlico, you're actually in the shot right at the finish line. Yeah, you know, that was a total accident. I was trying to stay dry in the rain. And if you look carefully, the wind was blowing from the top of the stretch down. So I was standing near the uh, finish pole so the wind wouldn't get me soaked. And by pure luck, I was right there when the photo happened. I had no idea that was going to be that photo. I actually thought I had to be on the other side of the finish wire. Now, you have something that you do at some of these Major League Baseball games and other ones where you'll just find some people that you've never met before and suddenly they're sitting in the front row with you. You call the paying it forward. What is that all about and why do you do that? Pay it forward is a movie I watched a long time ago and it changed the phrase from give it back to pay it forward. When you pay somebody back, you already know them. Paying it forward is to total strangers. And I like that idea. So what I started doing with seats that I had from all these different events, I started bringing people who had never, ever sat there before to give them an experience of their lifetime. And all they have to do is in the next week do a great deed for a stranger and send me a video or a picture or an email, and then we'll send them a gift. And that gift may be a ticket to the Belmont Stakes or a ticket to the World Series or just a Marlins game, whatever it may be. Last year, we gave out, I gave out 1,048 uh, seats, and they included NBA Finals, Super Bowl, World Series, a lot of baseball playoffs, Florida State games, Miami games, of course, Marlins games. And mostly what I started doing, the reason why I got so popular is it went from just doing it in Florida now I'm doing it nationwide across the whole country. And I've built a really big following of people who send me reports all the time about stuff they've done and how good they feel for opening a door for somebody, carrying somebody's bags at the grocery store. Uh, you don't have to have money to pay it forward and do a good deed. It's like, kind of like being a Boy Scout when you're older in life. My final question, and you've been to everything, um, all of these championship finals, what was it like being at Belmont last year and seeing a triple crown happen in person? You know, you're the first person to ask me that. I want to say this. I've been asked so many times, what's my favorite sporting event? Which Super Bowl? Which one where the guy was caught at the last play? Which, you know, was it the shot for the heat? And I tell everybody, my favorite event of all time was last year at the Belmont because about 120,000 people are rooting for the same team, same horse. And as he comes into the stretch, which you probably can't hear on TV, he gets so loud you like buy a jet engine. It doesn't stop. It keeps getting louder and louder and louder and louder. And when he won it and he went across, I started crying. A lot of people started crying because we've been going for so many years and it was like being teased on a date. And it was just amazing. I think we all sat there for about 20 minutes. And one of the really cool things was the jockey. He realized what a great moment it was. <laughs> Instead of going to the winter circle, he went all the way down to the end of the track and walked back. That didn't make whoever was broadcasting it too happy. It was about another extra 15 minutes, but it was a standing ovation for probably 30 minutes straight, and I'll never, ever forget that. Well, I'm glad that you uh, endorse racing for sure, and uh, who knows where you will see Marlins Man next. We know for sure here at the Preakness. Bet anywhere with TVG.